Okay, uh, so to create uh, a cloud and database in IBM Cloud, you need to create an IBM Cloud account and uh, you uh, go to this search and search for cloud and and then you have two options. Uh, so uh, you select cloud and here and when you want to create cloud and account here in authentication method, you should select IAM and legacy credential. And uh, then you are good to create your cloud and uh, service. So it's for free. You don't need to put your credit card information there. So the service is created and um, so it's provisioning. Provision is prog uh, in progress. We should wait a bit until it's provisioned. Takes a bit of time and now it's active. We click on that and And then uh, we go to service credentials. Here we need to create new credentials. We just uh, add it. And then uh, we can see the details of this credential here. You see that the username here, there's password, uh, there is URL here. We need to provide this information uh, to our um, node red cloud end. So, uh, we need to basically put the cloud and plus out uh, here and then we need to basically define all the credentials so let me delete these previous credentials and show you how to bring all those credentials here so for the host we need to copy and paste the url okay copy and paste the url and for the username, the one that starts with API key, I just copy and paste it here. And for password, um, there's password here that I can copy and paste. Okay. And we should put a name on our database, let's say MyDB. And operation is insert. We don't need to do anything here. And uh, we connect it to our, uh, you know, uh, input that in this case here is a Twitter uh, a node and then we deploy it. So now it's uh, connected and the new tweets should go to our database as well. Okay, let's wait a bit to see uh, if there's any new tweet. Yep, there's a new tweet. Uh, There's a problem with our Twitter. Okay, let's redeploy it. Okay, the new tweet uh, went through and then uh, we can see the tweet here. We go to the manage page and launch dashboard. Here after launching dashboard, we can go to uh, our database that we created, MyDB, you see that? So in the database, uh, we see MyDB, and these are the tweets that I received in uh, MyDB instance. So in this way, you can get access to, you know, the, uh, the documents that are saved here. These are documents that, you know, the new ones that are getting inserted to my uh, database. Okay.